Hello everyone, and here we are to the discussion of the DLC that has just been announced, and that is the Africa Pack DLC for Planet Zoo, which as you've seen in the trailer just a couple of seconds ago, is coming the 22nd of June, so it's actually just in a week's time. How exciting is that? So we are pleased with a lot of new goodies in here. And uh, before I'm going to analyze with you the beautiful trailer, which uh, didn't show too much, but there's a couple of things that I spotted in there. And as you may also know from uh, the uh, timing of this video, this is actually prepared. So thanks to Frontier uh, for, for, for giving this uh, early to us. And um, because I'm so thankful, I just say Frontier once again, but this time correct sorry for my for English um, and I'm gonna read out the information first of all about our wonderful pack so this is the Planet Zoo Africa pack which introduces a selection of extraordinary animals it is the meerkat as we can obviously see to the left hand side um, a sought-after fan favorite a sure to delight guests as they create their tunnel homes using an authentic new digging behavior let's talk about that in a second because digging behavior means no enrichment and I think from the trailer that's obviously but we are talking about that in a second. Um, so stay with me if you want to know more about this. The Fennec Fox, and of course you guys know where this is gonna go, and Fennec Fox is just such a cutie! Um, if you have no idea um, uh, how that looks, I, I, I'm not really sure what Frontier does in, uh, include in the announcement in the forum, so maybe you've already seen uh, an image. If so, we will discuss this later today. Um, also, we will have um, whose small uh, stature and enormous ears help it to stay cool in the African plains. The African penguin thank god yes we are so happy about that one whose fun side comes out to play with a new disco ball enrichment item finally we have a ball which seems to be in water underwater whatever you want to say and of course the southern white rhinoceros which you can see in the background already this is why uh, we have this over here and then uh, we also have alongside the four new habitat animals in planet zoo africa back there is a uh, sacred sc uh, scarab beetle exhibit animal we all know that one this is the one that just you know carries its own poop through the uh, through the through the world i should say and um yeah this rolls the signature dung balls as it's written in the announcement as well so um but it's pretty interesting I'm um, not going to say anything else. It's interesting. What else? <laughs> um, also included in the pack uh, is a brand new timed scenario which unfolds in a scheduled Oasis Bazaar, which potentially is what we've already seen. Things could get heated as players work to solve problems and transform struggling attraction into the perfect environment for both animals and guests. Also, in addition to this exciting range of creatures, players can unleash the creativity of over 180 new pieces of scenery inspired by the colorful architecture of North Africa. That is so cool. Zookeepers can use everything from mud brick, vivid mosaic tiles, brightly painted benches, and a wide range of new foliage, including tall green palm trees, to create immersive experience for their guests as they take in the continent's rich culture. How cool is that? Now, let's jump back into the trailer. This is where I bring this one up. Here we go, and now let's hit play for a second and stop right over here already. So this is the first um, the first spot, and you can see a lot of great stuff, which um, if you know me from the Planet Coaster days, and if you know Sean McBeard, you know Talico, further known as uh, one of the most ambitious never finished planet uh, coaster project they did a certain africa style with talico which is set in the exact same range and all these windows and stuff and all these pieces they made out of windows crazy i tell you it, it was ridiculous um and this is the piece set that you can expect um from them so if you want to have some inspiration go and search for talico they basically built this style here over here in in a 
in a, such a great fashion, but you can see what happens once you have it, you know, tied into a game. And now I think, you know, um, I'm not really exactly sure if that's the new palm tree over here. I guess it is because I remember that the one palm tree we have in the game is not as tall as that one, but I could be wrong. Uh, it could be the ones in the background. I'm not too sure about that, but I, I'm quite sure that we had already had uh, most of the other palm trees in. We also have this window from the African set, but you can tell that these arches over here are brand new. Um, there is a statue, the Fennec Fox statue, I guess. It's, it's somewhat Egyptian, I guess. Um, very nice. We have this dome. We have some cool mosaic here in the background, as you can see there. So very neat stuff. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit further. Also, by the way, I can also uh, disable the sound. I've got some music in the background. Oh, wait, I spotted something very neat there. Let me just uh, go back. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so these uh, umbrellas thingies over here, very nice. For those of you who are familiar with the Fantasia land in Germany, you potentially know the African area in there. And this comes very close to the style that they use over there, which is obviously where you do have um, this wonderful uh, B&M inverted coaster uh, called Black Mamba. So it's a very nice thing. So over here, here we can spot a lot of other things that is very interesting to see. So that's one of the brand new pathways, which wasn't even introduced in the text, but you can see it clearly from the trailer. So there's a new pathway. We have this wonderful mosaic here and to the left. We have, uh, a, a, it looks like this one of these painted walls and you can see the different shades overall. I love that one. It's kind of this nude tone. Um, mud brick wall or brick wall or like dried stone brick wall something we miss in the game and this is gonna be a great addition to the game a wonderful addition that again we needed so much and this one over here is in particular very interesting because that one fools you right away you, you potentially think that this is all new but the most of the stuff is Indian, um, but it obviously goes well together with this uh, stuff as well. Um, I'm more than ever sure that this big palm tree is a new one, to be honest. Uh, I think we had a smaller one of that one, but this is a bigger version of it, just longer. Um, to the left-hand side, you can see some of uh, the new plates. I think these two are in, the more old-looking ones, and the newer ones uh, seem to be Africa. Of course, all of these arches are new. This is new. Um, these are the umbrellas we were talking about. There's another pathway down here also looks fantastic this is this wonderful lantern over here i'm not sure if that's like a real lamp post or if this is just assembled but it also looks pretty nice the pieces in general look oh this is by the way just in front of us the palm tree the pieces in general look fantastic um so if we stop over here this seems to be the new bench and oh boy i'm so happy about that one this is like one with a roof or like shade or something like that it looks almost like in a lounge and if i if i know my friend mike sheets he's gonna go crazy about these things for the koali launches if there will be koali and again this is no confirmation i just say that to avoid that people go mad now it's just like i know that he would use them um, one thing I want to point out over here, I don't know if I can zoom that, uh, so you can see there on the right hand side there's a dromedary on here, I saw that a couple of times, I know there's no dromedary in this pack, but oh boy I want a dromedary, just saying. Um, this is the beetle over here as you can see, um, a lot of pieces that utilize obviously the animals um, that we get with the pack. As the rhino, we can see over there. Um, you can see it from the bump over here that this is the uh, African rhino we are talking about, not the Indian one. Um, and now, I'm not really seeing that much new foliage, by the way. It might, might be me, but um, there's just not that much new stuff. Uh, very, very nice usage of this um, of the pieces, by the way, because obviously these are the branches we already know. These seem to be new kind of I don't know mud, dried mud pillars or whatever, which seems to be. Flexicolor, of course, um, there you can see some, I think there's a toilet or like some chambers or whatever. Um, th these rocks are all in the game already and then good usage here of the invisible wall. This palm tree might be new, Ma? could be. Let's uh, skip forward a little bit. I know what, what you guys are here for and this is, this is that one over here. We are getting closer to it. I'm not sure if we can see anything else in here if I just move forward very slowly before the cut. Okay, I think there's not much more to spot in here. So this is where the new foliage comes into play. So I think that one is new. This tree in the middle here most likely is a new one. Looks to be exactly the one that I would use in a habitat for those wonderful animals. This, this palm tree over here could be a new one. This 
tree in the background most likely is a new tree, um, while these bushes are already in-game. I mean, the thing is, we already have some um, foliage from Africa, so they don't need to add all of the foliage from Africa, because most likely we do have it already. And this is where the fun begins. Now, this is obviously a duck hole, or like a dig digging hole, what do you call that? And there is our friend, the Mac Cat, just uh, glimpsing out of it, just looking out of it. Now, in the mail, there is written... And I'm, I'm just reading that out again, just to make sure. So, the Mercat, a sought-after fan favorite, sure to delight guests as they create their tunnel homes using an authentic new digging behavior. Now, I, I'm stretching the words here a little bit, because behavior is not enrichment. I have no confirmation on that yet, just saying. Maybe there is a bit more info in the official announcement copy. However, this really leads to the fact that this seems to be a digging behavior. And from this frame over here, you can see that this hole, obviously, is, is kind of a deep black hole, which you can't look into. However, my guess is that these creatures then basically look, um, they, they just, you know, can dig from one spot to the other. I'm guessing that it has to do with the traversable area, so um, all the terrain that you have, for example, um, with a certain angle, can become a duck hole and then they can go from one to the other which to be honest adds a completely new layer of habitat builds which is so cool and I'm really wondering if they can go from A to B and how small it can be and what the distance is between those duck holes but oh my boy we are so much happy about this because we all wanted this to happen and it finally did happen now it, it just went back into it I really do hope that this is happening that they go in one hole and then come out of the other and it's not just like that they dig one hole are in there and jump out again however we will we will we will see how this unfolds but let's just zoom a little bit back here to our favorite friend to well, I think I like that shot even more so that looks really cool and I'm really interested to see the size comparison in game because the meerkats are somewhat very small and telling from this plant here to the right hand side this is quite tiny um, and the angle doesn't really tell us too much because also in that one you can see if you take for example this uh, trunk here in the background you can tell how small that is also details on the nose and stuff mm, so that's very tiny and I'm really really excited to see how that plays out at least I can say one thing I am extremely and awfully excited for this pack it has been rumored yes but honestly these animals are all fan favorites I think this might be the first pack um, honestly the first pack in which all four habitat animals are, for me personally, equally exciting. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous to see. Um, it, it is really an addition to the game that we were desperately seeking for and um, also alongside with all the great pieces that enables us to build some cool stuff and the penguin which is a smaller penguin and a smaller diving animal that we were also hoping for um, at least I am super happy for the always pretty fair price tag if you ask me so all in all I am extremely happy but now before I end this episode a big thank you again to Frontier that they handed me over this stuff earlier because I am obviously at work right now so you watch this video while I'm doing my duties in my actual job so um, in case I missed something that has been announced in uh, in the announcement right now or on screenshots I'm sorry uh, I don't know because whatever I'm doing right now I'm not on the computer checking Planet Zoo so uh, <laughs> um, expect me to cover this later today okay so that's that's off my chest now the second thing is um, are you guys happy with this DLC and which which animal do you want me to take first? What should we do first as an habitat? I want to do at least one um, one-off habitat, like a very nice workshop element. This is something I want to build. And obviously I have prepared some stuff for you guys. Um, so um, this will be like, you know, next week will be some, some cool stuff that, you know, we do first. And then um, I obviously will do something secret for you as well, um, just as it is always. And I guess um, this will be the perfect playground for all of us. So please let me know um, what you guys want to see first. And then um, also let me know what is your favorite of the pack. I really want to know what your favorite animal of this pack is. And is there anything you are missing from the African side of things? Is there one thing you would, lo would have loved to see? Let me also know in the comments down below. But now have a wonderful day. Please tell me how excited you are. And now um, I'll join you in the chat later. Have a wonderful day, guys. And goodbye.